hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel it's your girl pumi i'm a south african work and living in south korea for all my returning subscribers you guys i really appreciate your support it really means a lot to to me and if it's your first time to be on my channel please do like comment subscribe 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 and hit that notification bell so that next time when i drop a video you'll be the first to be notified okay guys welcome welcome <laughs> okay guys uh on today's video it's, it's going to be one of sensitive video um a lot of people been asking me put me we've been seeing that you single mother blah 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 stuff like that and i'm like yeah i'm a single mother and um people they didn't even know that i walk away from the marriage from the divorce long long time because i never post about it it was just like whenever i'm ready i will so today i'm saying it because i saw a video on saturday um I'm saying it because I saw a video on Saturday uh, about one vendor woman who, who was killed by her husband. Guys, it's it's really painful. When I heard when I read the news, when I heard about it, I really shed tears because I've been there to I've been there from an abusive marriage relationship you know um especially when I listen to the audio between her and the husband oh, guys it's really painful it's something that you can't even listen to for a second like it's 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 really disturbing like it was really so touching i felt the pain i felt the pain of that woman i really felt the pain because nobody should go through that because in the name of marriage or love or whatever you can call it but it was just too much on me and it really take me back you know I was like, I, I'm gonna talk about my own story, and yeah, I felt like now is the time to talk about it. Maybe somebody can be motivated about it and walk away from from their toxic or abusive relationship. Whether you're a guy that they're abusing you or it's a woman, my message is for both gender. It's not only for women. Because there are men out there I know, they are being abused, but because of the stigma that, oh, men are the ones that do abuse women, they are afraid to go and report. As Especially in South Africa, when you go and report a domestic... Um, violent or gender-based violence especially if you're a guy they don't take you serious they will even laugh at you like you're a weak man why a woman is abusing you which is it's wrong that's why men end up killing those women because he feel like the best way is to kill that woman you know because she's abusing him and stuff like that so yeah okay that is that okay um my man my ex man my ex-husband he used to lay his hand on me but he did it once then okay he did like twice yeah it was twice he did it once um the first time i was like no he will change he apologized you know 
you love the person so you be like you will change that's what i was hoping for then the second time he did it again because he was somebody that who don't like to be corrected who don't like to be advised who don't like to listen to other person or other people's opinion and if he's telling you something that okay this this person did this and you be like but you were the wrong one apparently you siding with the other person and he will start cursing me out because of that and accusing me that i'm sleeping with that person because i'm like okay that person was not wrong you were wrong stuff like that so i was like mm -mm, i can't deal with this because if you're my man you need to also listen to my advice you need to also listen to my opinion not your opinion matters because marriage is partnership bro so he was somebody that who don't really care about those things yes so the last time that he lay his hand on me um we were just having argument about what go what was going on on tv and he started like talking about a lot of stuff insulting my family like insulting my parents insulting my parents so my my dad so i was like i'm not gonna stand for all these you insulting my parents hell no i'm not gonna stand for these then i started like saying all whatever that he was saying back to him then because he's a man and he felt like he got power he got you know he started beating me I managed to run up from the house i called my mom no i called my mom and i told her that i'm coming back home i hang up the call i called my dad he was not picking because you it was during the day he was at work i called his family back where he's from they told me that you know your husband you just need to know how you talk to him he got hot temper blah 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 it really 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 annoys me because always when he beat me always whenever something happened i will call them but they will tell me that i know my husband he hugged, he got hot temper i just have to deal with it you know so it was happening like many times we we'll just have argument he will promise me that he will beat me then i will lock myself in the bedroom not coming out or i just go and stay outside he end up not beating me but he will be like cursing me out so that day i told myself that i'm leaving and this man is the last time that he did he laid his hand on me then i was like no i need to no i saw a friend of mine she traveled to israel so i was like I would rather just go to Israel because now. So I told him that I want to travel. He was like, okay, then I save up some money. He also helped me somewhere, somehow. Then I told him that I want to travel. Then I save up some money. He also helped me uh, with some money. Then I end up coming to South Korea 2020. And then when I was inside playing, to be honest with you, I was like, this is me leaving that man because this is me walking away you know because he is someone that who who joined this gang thing this cult whatever whatever so i was scared like if i'm still around and i leave him he might like send people i don't i didn't want to die fine so i managed to be in korea six days i was in korea he gave me his facebook password he was talking to women you know uh i saw it but i talked to him why are you doing this i know you didn't want you didn't love me that's why you you, you rush like this to start searching for women stuff like that so yeah so i we were just talking about the inboxes then he started like sending inboxes to a lot of women even some people that i know my friends on facebook um we talk about it but i was like i don't even care because just do whatever you want to do man 
then south africa went on lockdown he was no longer doing anything i had to support him financially which i did regardless of whatever that i went through because he did help me you know so i was paying his rent his grocery buying his weed data you know and some all those kind of stuff i was doing all those things for him because he did help me in life so i was spending like nine thousand rand around nine hundred around five hundred dollars i mean yeah so for the whole year then i was like then when everything was open i was like no you need to start doing something for yourself and mind you he was with my daughter he was with my daughter and i told him take the baby to my mom he didn't want he was like no she's too young i want to be with her i don't want my daughter to forget me because she's too young you know okay and he was really taking care of the baby but after when we started this guy started like abusing me emotionally like sending me messages that i couldn't even believe that it was him that was sending i tried for this guy to get papers to to like to to get him like a document that he can travel you know i tried i spent a lot of money uh, which um, I was not complaining. I was helping him out so that he go and stand for himself. Cause yes, he's my baby daddy, you know. So I tried. I did a lot for this person, but I was not appreciated. Even when his father passed away, I did. Cause the whole world was on lockdown. When his father passed, cause his father passed away before I left but my mom and my myself we contributed money for the burial and stuff like that then he started like sending me messages insulting me telling me that me i'm a bitch i'm a whore i'm a baby making my chin you know like terrible messages like i end up like you know what i don't want to talk to you i just don't want to i just want to focus on myself and i was also doing business sending phones in south africa but sometimes you just eat the profit you tell me stories uh i had to quit because now it was just too much i stopped but at first he was giving me all my profit my capital and stuff like that then I had to stop because I was just like, okay, sending money, I'll only get maybe my capital. Sometimes I don't get all of it, you know. And then uh, I leave it like that. Like he started apologizing, put me, you know, I love you, blah, blah, blah. I was like, excuse me. I was like, no, we, we, we can't. We are done you are too toxic for me i can't deal with how you 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 always you you have to cast me out insult my family my family never do you wrong they even try to help him you know they even try to help him to get joke document but it was not enough for him from him i mean it was not enough for him he even call me tell me that since he met me i never help him in life only to count all the money that i spend like if you can just count if you can just add nine thousand times 12 how much is it i spend a lot and not only that there was some money that i was bringing out for other things you know but he never appreciate me that really broke me like i'm helping you regardless of what i'm seeing on your facebook what you are doing what people are telling me but oh like i don't give a fuck about all those things what i'm doing i'm helping you to be somebody else tomorrow you know because you also did help me 
you also did help me but i'm trying to help you but he didn't want that he wanted me to spoon feed him he wanted me to be like giving him while he's just sitting down and it was something that i couldn't like do that then i decided that yo you know what i just have to build a house for my kids then i started doing that now uh, yes i started like spending my money and saving some of my money for things that i know that okay this is for my kids it's not for him you know then lately i received calls from people because you no know, he went me like for like three months he was not talking he was not doing anything then after that i received messages from people hey you, your husband because people they didn't even know that we we no longer together your husband he's not doing anything he's just like gallivanting in this i mean roaming around the street blah 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 then mind you this person he was having a phone but he would, he was no longer on whatsapp only to find out that he sold his phone his iphone i bought for him he sold it fine i um i tried to reach out call some other people that i know then they gave me his number i called him i was like hey yo uh i'm hearing this and are you okay or do you want to go back home to your country which i can help you you know me being a, a good person mm -hmm. me being a good person i am a good person guys i am a good person a really good one i just love helping people regardless so i just help, i just like helping people guys regardless of whatever happened between me and the person because you don't know tomorrow so i asked him do you want to go back to your country or do you want me to give you money to start up something or any anything he was like no you want to go back home i was like okay i called one guy because i couldn't trust this guy i called somebody that i trust i was like can you please help me get somebody who can do this guy paperwork and stuff so that you go back home because he was already illegal in south africa right so he need like you go to his embassy pay some money uh, all those kind of admin i asked the person to do all those admin i send the money they do it for him I bought him a ticket. I asked him, do you have clothes? Uh, do you have some clothes that you, at least you can wear? Nice clothes that you can wear going back home. He was like, no, he need money for clothes. I did send him money to buy clothes, guys. <laughs> I did send him money to buy clothes. Only to receive calls that he's in the street drinking. I already bought the ticket and he was leaving like the next day. Uh he was in the street drinking, smoking weed. Um I have to call him. I have to call him, ask him, hey, please don't miss your flight. And I have to call call somebody and pay the person to take him to airport. I didn't want story money for ticket all those things that I paid stuff like that it was around like close to 12,000 rand you know fine he went to he went back to Nigeria <clears throat> when he went back to Nigeria he didn't have a smartphone he asked me can you please help me get phone I was like, okay, I will help you. I didn't want to help with the phone thing, but something was like, just help him for the last time. Me, just being me, pull me. 
I bought iPhone 7 for him, sent it to Nigeria. He got the phone. He started telling me that you, my wife, I want you to come back home. I was like, which home? He said I should come back to Nigeria. I'm like, bro, you just need to accept that we are done. Me helping you, it doesn't mean that I still want you. I'm just helping you as a human being. This guy started kissing me out, you know. He started kissing me out, telling me that, um, like telling me all those hateful words. He ended up telling me that his father that who died is going to kill me. It's going to kill me. I was like, how your father is going to kill me? He said he's going to kill me. He's like giving me like three working days. Then I'll be a dead person. I called like all the messages. He was sending messages to my dad, to my mom, my sister. Horrible messages. Just that I don't want to display them here. Like it's horrible. That me, I'll die. My daughters, my sister, my mom, like all the females at home will die because of me. I call everybody home. I was like, guys, this is what is going on. This is what they were like. We also received those kind of messages, but we didn't understand what was going on. I was like, how the hell you tell me that I'm going to die? Who the hell are you? Why would he be telling me something like that? He was like, I'm going to die because hey, I went to South Korea. I forget about him. I was like, bro, that's not the case. You know what we've been going through. Like, <laughs> he was like, because I don't, now you don't have a wife. He should have a Oh my god. You need to say this is really the one that really broke me and hurt me is when he told me that he should have just take his daughter and make her his wife. My body was like shaking. I was really shaking. I was really scared because she was with him all along. In my mind, I was like, what if this guy raped my baby? You know, it really, it really broke me. It really like, from that day, I like, I'm cutting all the ties with this person. I told him, please don't you ever in your life text me. And you told me that I'm dying in three days. I didn't die in those three days. And my mom was very scared because she was like, hey, you know how Nigerians do? Maybe blah, blah. I was like, nobody will kill me. I was not made by him. I was not made by a human being. So nobody will, nobody will tell me when I'm going to die and I die. Hell no. So the day, those three days when it passed, I told him, I told him that from today I'm a dead person. So don't you ever talk to me. Don't you ever look for me. I'm dead. He was like, he also, he's also a dead person. So me and him, we're going to date as a ghost. I was like, bro, you're not okay here. You you mentally not okay, cause no, how can you tell me that you sh you you should have just take my baby and make her your wife? Like, who say that? It really scared me. That day I was like, I'm going back home to take my daughter, cause. He told me that he's going to go to South Africa 
and you will go and take my baby guys it it really 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 knocked me down because i was not happy i was scared he told me that last year december he's going to south africa and he will go and take his daughter call home told them please if this person come or call you guys don't answer him block him everything i don't want to hear anything from this person he's sick he's mentally sick because who says that about his own child Good. Oh, God. so guys my whole point of telling you all this is if you're a woman if you're a man you're in an abusive relationship don't be scared to walk away walk away while it's still early the moment you see the sign walk away these people don't change walk away before you die I know there are women who do abuse men if you're a guy walk away if you're a woman walk away choose yourself choose yourself because if you don't if you don't your kids gonna suffer while you're not there your kids need you forget about what people will say me i would rather marry like 40 times as long as i'm happy emotionally physically i'm good i don't give a fuck about who people what people will say who are those people are they gonna give me my life back if somebody kill me oh no are they gonna take off my kids oh no so just do you do what makes you happy I feel like especially we Africans um this saying of um marriage is for better and for worse I think like they misinterpreted cuz uh, uh the worst is not beating each other maybe the worst is when maybe you're struggling financially or maybe someone one of the partner is sick not beating each other not abusing each other don't settle for less guys don't stay once someone is abusing you emotionally physically leave leave while you still can because mm -mm. there's no for better for worse anything yes our parents stayed our grandparents they tolerated all those shit, but not this generation not our generation guys people are sick some they don't even take rejection well so walk away while you still can while you still okay you know yes so <sighs> yes i'm single and happy I'm single and happy. Mm -hmm. Single and happy. If you see me with another man again, he's making me happy. If I post him, he's making me happy. You see me? I'm happy. So, I don't care. I don't care. As long as I'm happy. Yes, guys. As long as you're happy, enjoy yourself. Life is too short to worry about who who you don't even know. People that... You know, one thing is... Those people who really judge us are the ones that are going through the most. They are going through the most and act like they are not going through, you know. They act like them, they are being loved, they are being this. Bruh. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. 
Stop acting happy outside. Then inside you are dying. No, don't settle for less. If you know that you're not working and try something. Sell veggies, do something to support yourself. Or travel around. There are a lot of countries, guys. That as a South African, you you, you can even go travel without applying for visa. Countries like Ireland, South Korea, uh, Israel, Qatar, all those Singapore, Viet- Vietnam, Thailand. You can go there and start up something. It doesn't matter how much you're getting paid. As long as you can support yourself and your kids. Yes. Anyway, guys, I don't want to talk much. I'm just going to leave it here. Please do comment down below and tell me your experiences. And, you know, and um, I'm going to be running a um, giveaway, which is I'm going to do a separate video. So, please share this video because... I need to reach 1,000 subscribers. Then I will do a giveaway of 1,000 rand, which is like maybe $70 or $100 somewhere there. So share my videos, guys, in your socials because I'm going to pick randomly on the video of the giveaway that I'm going to make. So share the video share all my videos if you can so that we reach that 1000 then i do the giveaway because now we are almost in 500 subscribers and thank you very much mm. thank you very much we are on on the road to 500 subscribers so we are just short with 500 then i do the 1000 giveaway and then yeah that's all from me um don't forget guys choose yourself stop abusing your partners stop being toxic love your partner if you feel like you don't love the person no more let them go or walk away Stop gender-based violence. Stop gender-based violent GBV. Yes, stop gender-based violence. Love each other. If you don't, walk away. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, like my video, comment. See you on my next video. Bye.